Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn the calculation for nonlinear pharmacokinetic model. First, pause the video and try to solve the questions, and then play the video for my explanation. In this question, you need to calculate a daily oral maintenance dose of phenytoin for this patient. Now you can pause the video to attempt the question. To calculate the dosing rate, you need to remember this equation. In this case, the Vmax is given by per kg. You have to take into consideration the body weight of the patient. To put in all the value, dosing rate is equal to 7.2 multiply the body weight of the patient, multiply by your target 10, divide 4.4 which is the Km plus 10. Solve this equation, your answer will be 375 mg. In this question, you need to calculate the expected steady state phenytoin concentration for the patient. Now you can pause the video to attempt the question. To calculate the average steady state concentration, you need to remember this equation. Now put in all the value, CSS average equal to 4.4 multiply by 200, divide the Vmax, remember you have to multiply the body weight of the patient, minus 200. Solving this, your answer will be 3.8 mg. When you increase the dose to 300 mg, that will be 4.4 multiplied by 300, divide 72 multiplied by 60, minus 300. Solve this, your answer will be 10 mg per liter. In this question, you need to calculate the oral loading dose and then using the population pharmacokinetic parameter, calculate the maintenance dose to achieve concentration of 10 mg per liter. Now you can pause the video to attempt the questions. To calculate the loading dose, I would like to remind you, the nonlinear pharmacokinetic of phenytoin play no part in determining the loading dose because loading dose only depend on volume of distribution. Therefore, you should use this equation. Putting in the value, assuming the F and S is 1, dose is equal to concentration multiplied by volume. The target concentration is 20. The volume, 0.65 multiplied by the body weight of the patient. The loading dose should be 845 mg. Next part of the question, you need to calculate the dosing rate. Again, you need to remember this equation. For the Vmax, 7.2 multiplied by the body weight, multiplied by 10, the target concentration. Km is 4.4 plus the target 10. Solve this equation. Your drug, the dosing dose will be 325 mg. In this question, you will learn to use the orbital plot to estimate the patient's Vmax and Km. Now you can pause the video to attempt the questions. To put the information into the orbital plot, you need to convert the dosage into mg per kg per day. The patient is taking 300 mg divided by the body weight, that will be approximately 4.2. This is the measured concentration, 5, and this is 4.2. Using these two points, draw a straight line. The next step is to identify the midpoint in the inner circle. Your target concentration is 10. Connect this point, 10, to the middle point to draw another straight line. The intercept on the y-axis will be the new dosing rate. That will be around 5.5. Next, you can identify the Vm over here. That will be 8. You draw the vertical line to the x-axis this will be the Km. The Km will be 4. 
and the Vm will be 8. To calculate the new dose, there will be 5.5 multiplied by 72. That will be approximately 396 mg. So the closest round-up value will be 400 mg. In this question, we will look at the calculation for patients with low albumin level. Now you can pause the video to attempt the questions. Before we do the calculation, I would like to do a bit of revision with you. The equation we use in this case is slightly different because we need to take into account the albumin level. For phenytoin, it is highly bound to albumin. When we look at the therapeutic range, we are actually measuring both the free phenytoin and the albumin bound phenytoin. There will be 90% sticking to the albumin, whereas only 10% only is free. So patients with low albumin, they tend to have a higher fraction of free phenytoin. Therefore, the therapeutic range is slightly lower. First, let us calculate the therapeutic range for this patient. Putting the value into the equation, 10 C divided by 0 0.9 multiply 2.5 divided by 4.4 plus 0 0.1. The answer in this case will be 6.1 mg per liter. Putting the value into 20, doing the calculation, your answer will be 12.2. So the therapeutic range in this patient will be 6.1 to 12.2 mg per liter. To calculate the maintenance dose to achieve a new concentration of 10, we can use this Grave-Clyde equation. Putting in the value, maintenance dose, the old dose 300, the old concentration 7, multiplied by the new target 10, power 0 0.199, multiplied by the old concentration 7, power 0 0.804. Solving this equation, your answer will be 223 mg. So you can round up to the nearest to 320 or 330 mg. That's all for our tutorial. Thank you very much for your attention.